Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, depending on when you're watching or listening to this edition of Hypnosis Week Live. As always, it's me, by birth, Alex Williams-Smith, better known to many of you as Jonathan Royal of www.hypnosisweek.com. And I've got another amazing guest for you this week. You can probably already see either on the left or right of me, depending on how it actually decides to do this on the recording. It always seems to do it different each and every week. Anyway, the lady I'm about to introduce you to uh, grew up um, for a lot of her childhood in South Africa, but is a Lancashire last Lancashire in England. Um, for those who are in England, you'll know what that kind of means. If you're not from England, uh, research. There's lots of stereotypes about us Lancashire folk, which indeed I am one of as well. Uh, the lady I'm about to introduce you to is um, an experienced hypnotherapist. She is an accredited, and you know I've mentioned on other shows there's no such thing as recognised or legally required qualifications, and there still isn't, okay? But there are things that some people tout as being, oh, you've got to be approved or, or trained or qualified by, in England, the General Hypnotherapy Register or the General Hypnotherapy Standards Council. Uh, and some people believe that if you haven't got that and you haven't done that, you don't know what you're doing, which is nonsense. But for those people who believe that, don't worry, you can relax and enjoy this interview because the lady I'm about to introduce you to has indeed done those things and does indeed have those bits of paper, letters after the name, qualifications, call them what you will. Um, so without further ado, please welcome the accredited for those people who care about such matters. But more importantly, the experienced and skillful clinical hypnotherapist, Tracy Devet. How are you doing, Tracy? Hi, Alex. Fine, thank you. Good. Now, look, I've I, I mentioned the fact that you are a clinical hypnotherapist and you're also a hypnotherapy trainer. And uh, I'm going to say up front, ladies and gentlemen, if some of you seen this, if you've seen this weeks or months after we've recorded this at the start of uh, April 2022, then you may well already be aware that Tracy has recently become a licensed uh, qualified, accredited, if you like that word, although as I all openly do admit to everybody, there's no such thing as a legally required or truly legally recognised qualification for hypnotherapy or anything like it anywhere in England, most of Europe and indeed many other places in the world. And even for our American viewers and listeners, um, the only real laws there are is that you can't use the title hypnotherapist or therapy hypnotist in certain states of America, the majority of them, but you can call yourself a consulting hypnotist or a psychological um, mind coach or, or, or something different and still use the same techniques, just with a different name. So it's all a bit of a farce, that side of things. What's important is that when you're seeking out somebody to teach you uh, hypnotherapy, you seek out somebody who has studied uh, in depth and more importantly has got real world experience and cut long story short Tracy ticks all those boxes but we're going to learn more about a story starting with tell us about your life leading up to becoming a hypnotherapist because obviously when when you were young you weren't a hypnotherapist and from what I know with us having spoken and known each other previous to today I know there was a time for example you were you were scared of spiders you had migraines um as a child I believe you're very much a, a people watcher an observer that people will come to you and express their opinion that they kind of felt like and that sounds a bit arty farty to some of my listeners but felt like you were an old soul in a young body so tell us about your journey from from childhood to now yeah, so that's all of that is true. So when I was young, I was always fascinated with watching people and trying to work out uh, what was behind their behaviours, you know, why they said things, why they, they did things. And um, I found that made me a very um, sympathetic and empathetic person. And I think it's for that reason, growing up, uh, friends and even adult family members would come to me and ask me for advice or ask me for help with, with issues or problems that they had. And as you say, um, I was called an old soul in a young body. 
Um, that fascination led me to actually go and study psychology at university, which I did do. And, um, but after studying it, I became quite disillusioned with being a psychologist. So I never actually qualified as one. Okay. And um, it was, even though I had this amazing interest in people and how they behave, because psychology literally is the science of, of human behavior, um, I, I worked in other fields. I was in uh, computers and finance and all sorts of other uh, jobs not related to psychology or helping people. And it wasn't until I actually was in a finance role and I became really stressed out because of it and had burnout and uh, crunched all my teeth at night with um stress and strain that I realized that I had to get out of it and I had to do something else and I uh, went into retail for a while but I eventually discovered hypnosis and hypnotherapy and the way that it helped me was man so magnificent I decided that I had to study and that's where it all started. So I'm going to ask the obvious question of viewers or listeners I'm thinking is how did you discover hypnosis? Oh, that was, yeah, that was absolutely um, out of the blue. I think I was watching something on Facebook and an ad right. popped up and uh, I clicked on the link and the rest of his is history. Okay, so I mean, literally, it just kind of crossed your path. Some might say a synchrony, can't even say the word, can't use that teeth, synchronicity. Yes. what I was trying to say there. So what, 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 what did you, and I know I alluded to it before by mentioning that you, used to be acrophobic, you used to have migraines, that gives a bit of a clue that uh, you did something to overcome those things. Um, I'm, I'm guessing, did that involve hypnotherapy? Oh yes, it did, it did. And the amazing thing was, was that with the migraines, I'd had debilitating migraines since I was probably about five. You know, the type of one that would make you very ill, you'd start throwing up, you'd have to, if I was at home, I'd be sent home from school quite often to go and recover at home. Um, my mum would only let me have little baby aspirins. She wouldn't let me have anything else. So I literally just had to ride through the pain and the photophobia and sensitivity until the next day when, when I got better. And it did hold me back. It stopped me doing whole loads of things as a kid when I think about it now. And even as a young adult, and it just took one session of hypnotherapy to get rid of it and I have never had a migraine since then and that must be about four four and a half years ago already now wow. one session one session so you know living proof one side of me depending on which way this records uh of a first-hand experience of basically totally life-changing um treatment in what one session Absolutely. Wow. Um. What? What? What about spider phobia, arachnophobia? <laughs> did spider. you deal? Did you deal with that? Did you have that dealt with by the same therapist, or was that a, a later stage? What, what happened with that? Well, the the uh, the spider fit therapy or the spider phobia went with the therapy uh, during a when we I was actually training, and it was part of our training to okay. uh, practice on one another. And uh, yeah, that went in one, one session as well. And uh, when I say uh, spider phobia, I'm talking about somebody who would be running out of the house if there was a spider in it. I've actually spent the night sleeping in the lounge with tea towels shoved underneath the door because there's been a spider between me and getting to my bedroom. That's how phobic I was. Okay. So um, the fact that it's cured me of that is, is actually incredible. And again, that was in one, one session. That was in one session and that was literally practicing during my training. Wow. So, I mean, you have first-hand personal experience of, um, I'm going to use the word, although it sounds a, a bit over the top of the, the, of the almost miraculous results that can sometimes, but very often happen in just a single session. 
which obviously as a therapist, I guess, gave you as you were training more belief and faith in it working for other people. Would you say that's fair? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And in, in fact, I probably wouldn't be as passionate about it as I am now if I didn't have this amazing firsthand experience. Indeed, because, uh, you know, when you, because you know it works for you and you know just how monumentally life-changing those transformations for, for yourself were, and so you can have that faith in what is an invisible technique um so to speak mm. what give us a few examples of, of of things you've helped your clients since since you've trained and, and qualified the sort of things that you particularly have found rewarding helping other people with oh yeah so at this um, all sorts of things have led me here, but just because of my own experience with uh, work stress and burnout, uh, that's what I've specialised in now. So I help people with work stress, burnout and anxiety. And so um, anxiety, as you know, covers so many horrible symptoms, panic attacks and all that kind of thing. So that's what I help people with now. And that's, you know, that's what I've been doing for the past probably two, three years. And it's just amazing to see people's transformation going from being really stressed out to the point of not sleeping. Some of them have got eating issues, um, you know, all sorts of horrible symptoms that are, are locked up in this um, to easing those symptoms and just being able to carry on with their lives. Now, I'm going to pull you up there because you used to have I know it's natural conversation, so I, I hate, but I'm just going to do it because otherwise I'll have viewers and listeners going, oh, we didn't pull her up on that. You just use the phrase, help them ease the symptoms. Now, obviously, that's great uh, at the start, but there's a thing in therapy called symptom substitution where, um, you know, most basic example would be perhaps stopping somebody smoking and not dealing with the triggers to that and so they end up perhaps compensating by eating more instead it, because the right. root cause the underlying triggers weren't dealt with now i know having spoke to you before and i know having gone through the due diligence that i do before i ever even contemplate allowing somebody to become a licensed trainer of um complete mind therapy or complete unconscious reprogramming of emotional disease and distress and the other modalities that um, you're now licensed to teach people in, that uh, I make sure that people are actually also dealing with the underlying trigger so it doesn't manifest in another way. So I just, can you just reassure viewers and listeners that actually you, you, you do deal with the bigger picture, not just the superficial things that can be seen above the surface, so to speak. Oh, definitely. Yes. Well, that, that is the, the basis of actually hypnotherapy, isn't it, is to get to the root cause of this. And one of the things that I learned is that the symptom is never really the symptom. They are symptoms pointing to a cause, and that cause could be all sorts of things going way back to childhood. Indeed, but you, you said that if people are watching the body language on the video version, if you're just listening to the audio, you won't have that clue. But if you go to hypnosisweek.com, you can watch the video. Uh, Tracy just said that in a manner that's not flippant, but so take that as normal. Everybody knows that. But the thing is, um, I know I have to do it to myself sometimes, and that's why I'm doing it to you, Trace. It, we know that is what has to be done for a long-term resolution to find the root cause, deal with the underlying things so it won't manifest elsewhere. But sadly, there are a lot of hypnosis, hypnotherapy trainers out there who just teach what I would call sticking plaster approaches that um, just minimise the symptoms or, or el eliminate the particular thing they were presented with but don't deal with the triggers and the root causes and stuff under the surface. So it manifests elsewhere. Whereas obviously, as we've just clarified, uh, you do a far more thorough, um, thorough approach to things. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, no, that that's, you're right. I am <laughs> not being flippant, but yeah, um, because we work with us all the time, we kind of just assume that it's common knowledge. But no, definitely clearing the basis for all of this anxiety, which will have been, uh, probably have its roots a lot further back in their lives. And that's how it's manifesting uh, when they get under stress and strain later on in life and clearing all of those, of course. Excellent. Now, everyone is a product of their environment, as Sigmund Freud, or Sigmund Freud, if you prefer to call him, uh, once apparently famously said, and we are the sum total of all our previous experiences and the way we've chosen to react to things or the way that we've chosen to deal with things after the event to react to them differently. So, so that the viewers and listeners who might be considering perhaps um, learning hypnotherapy or other approaches such as my complete mind therapy, which uh, did I mention that Tracy is now a licensed trainer for that? Um, and I, I keep mentioning that and the same with complete unconscious reprogramming of emotional disease and distress, cured for short, the idiomotor motor response direct communication technique. Again, Tracy is a licensed trainer for that. Uh, and a number of my other approaches. The reason I mention this is because you will know that I very, very rarely do one-to-one -one, uh, training and I very rarely do group um, training classes, very, very rarely, um, because I, I have other um, things going on in my life now, and but I do regularly get people going, oh, it's all well and good studying things online, but I'd like to actually be able to go and see somebody in person and clarify things. Well, your answer to that, and I'm pointing both ways, so it doesn't matter which way it records, is to go to the website that's above or below this video. There will be social media contact links. There will be a website link above and below as well. And contact Tracy if you are in England or you're prepared and committed to your education to hop on a train, in a car, on a plane, or some other form of transport and get yourself to the Harrogate area of England is a lovely place with, if I remember correctly, is that where the famous tea rooms are? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Betty's yes, tea, tea Rooms. And if you chat that into Google, you'll see that Betty's Tea Rooms have been featured on TV shows galore. Celebrities go there. It's, you want to treat yourself to proper British English cream tea, afternoon tea experience. That's the place to go. And you could do that perhaps in one of the breaks of one of Tracy's live courses if you're near, near enough by or on one of the days when you're having a day off in, in, in between training. But as I was saying, can I digress as I do? We are products of our environments, our upbringing. What, what would you say? What are the experiences in your life? I, I mean, I'm personally aware that, you, you know, you're, you're a mother and that you've um, had to get your life back together after a, a somewhat messy divorce. What are the key things that stand out in your life as, I'm going to say, being the negative things that you've overcome that have made you stronger and the person you are today? Yeah, okay. Well, yes, as you say, I was married and had two little children. And unfortunately, um, but that marriage came to an end. But it's not just the relationship that came to an end, but it was quite an acrimonious breakup. And I ended up losing uh, most of my, um, you know, my lifestyle, my um, friends, uh, well, you know, uh, ex-family and that kind of thing. And it was a humongous um, problem uh, to overcome. And as I say, it was acrimonious, it wasn't pleasant. And so I had to build, rebuild my life up basically from scratch again. Right. And I think that's, you know, that's, that's, it was tough at the time. Um, you had to, you just had to do what you had to do, but in the end, it was a massive learning experience. And um, yeah, we all came through it eventually. I don't want to sound too uh, artifarty, winky wanky, tree hugging, borderline new agey, psychic -y, or anything like that. Um, not meaning to offend any viewers or listeners, but you know that isn't my approach. However, I feel I've got to ask um, do you think that? what helped you get through things perhaps is an element of what 
was mentioned before, the fact that the old soul in a young body, because even as a child, I believe, you know, people would come to you for advice and stuff. Yeah, what, how that would have helped me myself. Trying yeah, to do you think, it. you know, I mean, I almost, I'm going to throw this out there as kooky as it sounds, but I mean, do you think it could be one of those things where at an unconscious level, being able to deal with things better because of already having experienced them, shall we say, possibly in a, for those people who may believe in such things previous lifetime. Well, yeah, I never really thought about it like that. I mean, I, I have to say that at the time I was absolutely devastated. Um, you know, it, it wasn't an easy thing. I, I didn't see it coming. My husband, ex-husband decided to just tell me one day that that was it and he was leaving and didn't want me in his life anymore. So that was, um, yeah, it was a devastating. And I think I hit rock bottom probably, you know, within two to three months after that. But yes, you have that resilience and you have that, that belief and that hope that, um, yeah, you'll get through it. And I did. Excellent. And belief is such a key word to everything that, that we do with um, hypnosis, hypnotherapy, call, call it what you will, suggestion. Um, so many people give it different names, but ultimately it all all is relevant to what what you teach people now in terms of teaching obviously before you started teaching people and before um we ever connected in terms of me uh vetting you as it were and uh, and checking out whether I, I felt you were a suitable level to for me to go yeah i totally trust you to go and be teaching complete mind therapy or teaching cured or, or the other approaches Prior to all that, you'd already become a, a, a qualified accredited trainer. And prior to that, you'd obviously already trained in hypnotherapy. And I believe both of those were with um, a colleague of mine who, uh, Brian Glenn, of, in, a, in a Visions uh, hypnotherapy training. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I trained with, with Brian uh, with in a Visions. No, excellent. I don't know if you know, but Brian, um, 2017 to be precise, he very kindly stated all over the internet um, and has done since that I am one of literally only a handful, tiny handful of people that he would ever consider going, sitting down in front of, and to use his own words, I'd be in the front row, sat there with my mouth shut, ears open and taking on board what he has to say. Um, now, I'm not saying that to be egotistically and arrogant, um, but I just want to uh, point out that um, the gentleman who obviously you've done training and then he's vetted you in terms of deciding that you were a level that was a high level because he has high standards, does Brian? Um, and you qualified as a trainer, accredited trainer for Innovisions, yeah? But yeah. when, yeah, when, when, when did you qualify as a trainer, by the way, just out of interest with them? Uh, that, that was last year in uh, 2021. All right, so that was after quite a number of years of uh, having already qualified as a hypnotherapist and seeing clients in the real world. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I think you need a certain amount of experience to know exactly what you're about and confidence to be able to teach those exactly. things. Exactly, I know that that's the key, Brian. Like to make sure that people actually have been doing it for real. Yeah. Um, because sadly, there's so many people out there who go out teaching who've no real world experience, and that also is one of the key things that I observed, investigated, checked the fact. Well. To be honest with you, the fact that Brian um, accredited you as a trainer for Innovisions immediately tells me anyway, knowing his standards, that you uh, would be ideal uh, to teach complete mind therapy and cured and my other approaches. Um, 
But that said, I didn't just take it as an automatic thing. Sorry, these earphones are playing up today. Let's try it that way. I didn't take it. I don't like the line across my neck. It looks a little quick myself up. Please excuse that on the visual version. Uh, yeah, I didn't just take it as an automatic red. I did my own due diligence. And, you know, we spoke at length and I've interrogated you, as it were. And um, so I'm going to throw a few of those questions at you, but not. To, um, I know the answers already, people. This is for the benefit of the viewers and listeners who may be considering going to the link above or below this video and contacting Tracy to uh, get more details about a next live face-to-face -face, um, and also potentially online as well, because that's the great thing about the world we now live in. You can also do online if you're in a different country, but it's still personal training rather than you can interact and, and whatnot. So what what... I know that there are syllabuses that you've had to follow in the past and do follow when you're training, for example, the Innovisions approved course. They have their structure. They have their syllabus. Um, and obviously, if you're teaching somebody complete mind therapy, there are components of that that we've gone through that you have to teach them in order to then be able to certify them as complete mind therapists. But there's, a, there's some commonalities, whether you're teaching in a vision structure or the Jonathan Royal modalities or other techniques, uh, the underlying things that equate amongst them all. So what do you personally feel? What would you say to the viewers or listeners who maybe, you know, haven't done uh, an accredited training yet? They've just read a book or two and the interest is developing and they want to learn more. What would you say are the important things uh, the important bullet points of the underlying structures that you teach in your courses to your students, Tracy? Um, well, there's, there's two answers to that, really. There's one where that you just want to learn how to do the techniques. And then there's another is if you want to actually become a practicing hypnotherapist. So for somebody who's just uh, wants to know these techniques, the shorter courses are amazing. You might already be um already trained somewhere else and you just want some um better or sort of more succinct techniques that really work you might want to just learn those um, so that was that would be like all the the cmt the complete mind therapy and that kind of thing because those techniques are almost all you would need to know and as long as you execute them properly in the way that you've been trained that would be all you would need to know to be able to uh, perform hypnotherapy or hypnosis on somebody else. If you wanted to become a proper clinical hypnotherapist, then you need a few more courses. And I offer all of those as well as to how you could get enough accredited training to actually register with certain bodies. And as you've said, nobody really has to do that. But of course, if you want to practice and you want insurance and that kind of thing, you should be accredited in order to do that. So yeah, it's learning all the techniques, learning them properly. And then also one of the important things I find with somebody who wants to become a clinical hypnotherapist, there is um, a lot of what I would call maybe health and safety um, things that you need to know as well. For instance, scope of practice. You know, there are um, certain conditions that you shouldn't be um, trying to help people with. Um, because that's better left to a different kind of mental health professional. And um, yeah, but this, the stuff that I teach would get you to be a clinical hypnotherapist if you wanted to. And when, in terms of the live courses, because I know obviously you offer um, virtual packages uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's two types of those. There's virtual in the sense of it's video recordings, training manuals and stuff, which um, to certain things is enough to be able to add a, a new modality for someone who's already got some background training. Or then there's virtual in the sense of it might have resources like that, but also involve um, some live Zoom interactive training sessions with your good self. And then, of course, there's the live, in-person, although you can almost do that now with Zoom with your breakout rooms for when it comes to um, practicing uh, with each other. Because, you know, there's people out there, there's people who've taken my courses who are actually 
doing really well. But one thing that they want, um, ironically, because they're still in their early days, sometimes if they want to, I get the number of times I get asked, come, are you not doing any live events where we can come together and practice on each other? And I say, no, I don't do that because personally, it bores me personally ridiculous. Uh, after several decades of treating clients, I try to do as little as possible, which is my motivation for finding um, ethical, skilled, experienced and well-trained individuals like yourself, Tracy, um, to teach my techniques to other people who have got the passion and more importantly the patience to um give people that opportunity to get together in person and have you cast that expert's eye over what they're doing as they're fine-tuning their skills with each other which obviously is something you, you you do at the live trainings isn't it yeah so um i i can only go on my experience so when i trained with innovations that was all live training it was uh you know you sat there for uh weekends uh training face to face and to me i think nothing actually can beat that um depending on your level of expertise um, but if you're just starting out, I think the in-person training is invaluable because especially when it comes to sort of like physical type inductions, um, you need to practice, practice them on people. And um, so I think that that's face to face course and also just the dynamic of having people together, you know, like it's just uh, it's social and it's exciting and uh, I think it's a great way to learn. However, the online courses are just as invaluable. And as you say, you know, over Zoom and that kind of thing, it's almost as if you are in the room and you can always find somebody to go and practice on. Uh, in real life uh, out of the classroom area. So both of them have their merits. Um, it de just depends on the person, I think, how, how you would prefer to, to get trained or how best do you learn. But yeah. I love face-to-face -face in I, I, agree, I agree with you uh, in, in the sense that, you know, uh, nothing can beat it. But obviously, some people have logistical issues if they're in other countries. And the next best thing is then live via Zoom. And the next best thing then is um, recordings, video recordings of live events, as long as there's some element of interaction available. So you can ask other students who've already done the training to clarify things that the questions you might have asked if you'd have been in the room at the time. So you yeah. can actually ask them and get them answered, which, of course, you can do with something, for example, uh, such as the Elite Hypnosis Bootcamp of mine, which, again, if you, you can contact Tracy at the links above or below this, and let me tell you up front, it will, never, it will not cost you any more money to go to Tracy rather than coming direct to me. Indeed, here's the thing. It will be the exact same price. So you might be thinking, well, I may as well just come to you rather than going to Tracy. No, here's the thing. You'll have a benefit of contacting Tracy that you'll never have the opportunity of with me. And that is the fact that I rarely, if ever, do one-to-one -one trainings or group trainings live in person. Very rarely, and it's less and less as time moves on, because once I've taught something and recorded it and stick it in the boot camp, I, I don't feel the need to ever, I don't want to be doing the same thing again. So if you're one of those people who deep down thinks, you know what, I reckon that reading some books, watching training videos and interacting with other people who've done this would be a good starting point. And with the boot camp, it would because it teaches you how to start earning as you're learning. So you could start bringing in some money, which will then fund your continuing professional development. So you're not having to fork out thousands at once. So you can earn the money in and then book on to a live training, whether that's a live interactive via Zoom or you actually jump on a plane or in the car or on the train and go to Harrogate and do be there in the room. Uh, physically, um, but it can kind of become a self-funding um, 
educational growth thing for you. And were you to join the Elite Hypnosis Bootcamp by contacting Tracy via the link above or below, she will, I've not discussed this with her, but I'm going to say it because I'm fairly confident she will. The, um, the small investment you make for the Elite Hypnosis Bootcamp, whatever you paid out for that, she will give you a full 100% discount voucher for that amount off the cost of attending one of the live training events in the future because you've already stood. So, you know, it's in your interest and that's an opportunity you'd never get with me because I just, I don't run those events anymore, quite simply. Um, so, so, you know, it's a no brainer. Um, and, and it is also a no brainer because there's another thing. If you join the boot camp, I, not Tracy, let me make this very clear. It's me, this bit. You join the boot camp through Tracy at the link above or below this uh, video or contact her via the social media links and go, yay, um, you know, I, I, I'd like to discover more about the boot camp. Now, you can discover more about the boot camp at ultimatehypnosiscourse.com, but don't buy it from there. Don't. No. Go to Tracy above or below this video because that's the only way you're ever going to be able to get the uh, credit if you wanted, the money refunded, as it were, virtually, off the cost of live one-to-one -one or live virtual Zoom training with Tracy, is to have booked the boot camp membership through Tracy in the first place. So if you, if you, if you, if you suddenly go off, to, because you already know about my website, join the boot camp, Sorry, but you're not going to be able to get that discount of Tracy. So don't do that. Go to Tracy's link above or below the video. Join there. It's not going to cost you any more. And that way you will have the opportunity, should you then want to do live Zoom training in future or live in-person training, to get that discounted off the live training course. But the bit where I do still still am involved is that when you book the boot camp through Tracy above or below it still comes with the full one year 100% satisfaction money back guarantee the quantifiable guarantee that categorically states that just so long as you study uh, the, the watch me first section and the stay at home and hypnotize section and the fast track hypnotherapy course section at the bare minimum and follow the advice in there and study the stuff it says and then actually take action. That's the key. As long as you take action, you are guaranteed to earn at least 12,000 United States dollars, 12,000 euros or 12,000 United Kingdom sterling uh, pounds sterling profit. That's after expenses, bottom line profits, more in the 12 months from joining the boot camp than you did in the previous 12 months. So if you're a complete beginner, that's saying that from joining the boot camp, contacting Tracy at the link above or below this video, studying what's in there and using the fast track guide so that within the matter of a few weeks, you could be starting to see people with basic issues like smoking cessation, uh, driving test nerves and, and the low end things. So that you're then earning as you're learning that 12 months later, you will have earned at least £12,000, euros or dollars profit so long as you do what is advised in the boot camp. As long as you put it into action. If for any reason you put into action what I teach you in the boot camp, and you weren't to make that profit and you can show that you did what I said, then I personally, me, not Tracy, me personally, Jonathan Royal, Alex William Smith, by birth, will refund the total investment into joining the Elite Hypnosis Boot Camp. Because that is how confident I am of what's in there and the fact that as long as you take action, doesn't magically happen for you, you've got to take action. As long as you do, you will be successful when you contact Tracy and join the boot camp. So tell them a bit about, um, well, yeah, tell them a bit, because obviously you're in the boot camp, which is a no brainer because you're a licensed trainer, but you were obviously in the boot camp before becoming a licensed trainer of cured complete mind therapy and stuff. Give them an idea 
of um, of what they're going to find when they sign up. <laughs> Where do I even start? That's why I'm asking you because, you know, I categorically state there is no hypnosis, NLP or mind therapy trainer on the planet who can offer a more comprehensive online virtual training resource library than the Elite Hypnosis Bootcamp. And I put my money where my mouth is, but it does sound like some kind of made up, um, arrogant, sometimes when I say boast, you've seen inside behind the curtain, so to speak. Um, is, there, is there a lot of stuff in there? Oh, um, there is an incredible amount of stuff in there. And in fact, I don't think you'd need to know anything else ever to be a, a very successful uh, hypnosis um, deliverer, either if you're a stage hypnotist or if you are a hypnotherapist. Um, everything is in that boot camp. That's what impressed me so much. And that's why I joined in the first place all those years ago because you, you just have a handle on exactly how all these techniques work. You, you're not scared to just tell it like it is. Um, every technique that anybody could ever think of, ever want to know about, you show how it's done, how to do it. Um, yeah, and even how to run a business as well. So it's not just all about mm. techniques to do the hypnosis and the, hypno, the stage hypnotism. It's actually proper stuff that you can use to get a whole business running and as you say earn at least twelve thousand pounds dollars or or whatever in a year that's what i'm guaranteeing the, the sky's the limit yeah exactly the, yeah. The, there are people who are in the boot camp who are earning uh in england in excess of um well over a hundred thousand pounds a year but that is also relevant to the level of action they put in getting off the backside and you know, there's an old saying, the luckier I, uh, the harder the harder I work, the luckier I get. Things don't just happen. We can provide you with the tools. You yeah. can contact Tracy at the link above or below. Perhaps you may, you know, join the boot camp to start with and then use your credit voucher to go on a live training later. Or you might go, you know what? I like the way Tracy's been answering questions. I just get this vibe. She's the person to teach me. And I'm going to cut to the chase and I'm just going to contact her and find out when her next live training is. And um, you might go feet straight in to the live training, which again is also it's what feels right for you. You can either do it earn as you learn approach or go cut straight to the chase. Just depends how rapidly you want to um, kind of start to climb up that ladder in the same way that Trace has already done and is now successfully helping other people to. Um, change their lives for the better now the thing is you are a little bit weird tracy and i mean that in a good way okay um in so much as you you just got it incredibly rapidly uh in terms of what's in the boot camp and uh, um, um, and whatnot some people it takes longer and some people do have to rely more on the um private members group to get support from other students and some people still end up because everyone's different I know these are the minority of people but some people still end up going yeah I kind of get it but I just haven't got the confidence to start doing it I, 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 I think I need that live training yeah. um, hence that's why I say contact Tracy because your opportunity for live training lies with Tracy, what what would you say to somebody starting out who's just been, say, at the book reading stage, or they might have even done a hypnotherapy course, but one that is one of those we mentioned earlier that is more of a sticking plaster approach. They may not have got the results they desired, and they may have started to feel down and like, oh, it's not working for me the way way, way it should. What would you say to those people in terms of you know, why it would be a wise idea to make contact with you, take things to the next stage. Yeah, I, th I think that um, having support and having and att attending live trainings or even coming through on Zoom, but just having that support of somebody who's been there and done it and can give you the advice and the knowledge 
and just the encouragement, I think, you know, I, I, everybody that I train and teach, I want best for them. I want you to be the best uh, hypnotherapist out there. I want you to be successful. Uh, so I'm kind of a bit like a, a coach as well, not just training, but interest, interested in your sort of long term journey with this, this incredible, incredible opportunity. Excellent. And oh, by the way, I'm going back to the beginning, but for those people who are into things like accreditation, although, as we say, there's no legally recognised thing, but there are independent bodies, OK, because some of these associations are set up by the people who run the courses. So they're just giving you another piece of paper that they printed out themselves to say that, you know, a member of some association It is at least slightly better if there's a clear independent um organization or association going yes this person's trained over here with tracy and because of that we're saying that the training is approved incredited and endorsed by and incidentally it is the course is in cured complete and country free programming of emotional disease and distress and complete mind therapy and the other modalities um are approved endorsed and accredited by the united kingdom board of clinical hypnotherapy nothing to do with me, um, and the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine, iphm.co.uk. So even if you um, learn those modalities through Tracy, the actual courses, the structure, the content have been approved, endorsed and accredited um, perhaps more significantly by the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine, as you can see on their website, iphm.co.uk, by searching for me, Jonathan Royal, and you'll see the names of all the modalities that I've developed and um, put out there into the world that they've improved, endorsed and accredited after looking at the core structure, looking at the content and making sure it's up to that high ethical and moral and educational um, standard that I know you also had to um, get to, to in, in order to actually be able to become an accredited trainer for Innovisions as well. Yes, yes. So um, I'm currently accredited with uh, something different, uh, the GHR, the General Hypnotherapy Register, and um, the GHSC Standards Council. Um, and they are independent. And um, to run their courses or for them to approve and accredit you, obviously, you have to have done a, an accredited course with them. And to become a tutor, you have to also train a course that they've, they've seen and approved as well if anyone's wondering about the second hand nature i'm saying second hand in the sense of well if we learn complete mind therapy from tracy yes it's um proved by these people the your training jonathan but, but you mr jonathan royal are, are, are you are you accredited by this general hypnotherapy standards council and general hypnotherapy register and all this that the other the honest answer is no i'm not because i've never even bothered trying but but here's the thing. Yes, I am a qualified hypnotherapist there we're in terms of their hypnotherapy practitioners, um, as they call it, we're endorsed by the General Hypnotherapy Standards Council and the General Hypnotherapy Register. Going back, um, fast approaching 20 years ago, I did my first um, course that was approved by them. And then just could I regularly do courses to make sure that I'm at the top of my game, as it were. Uh, I did another one in uh, 2017, uh, that General Hypnotherapy Standards Council and General Hypnotherapy Register approved um, with my colleague and friend, Susie Lawrence of Peace of Mind Hypnotherapy. So I personally have done hundreds of courses with just about every famous name in this industry you can think of. And I am arrogantly going to say it, but then I'm going to ask Tracy to uh, tell the honest truth. You will not offend me. Um, but I um, personally, I've studied all these courses and there's nothing that any of them have ever attempted to teach me or taught me that I hadn't already been doing for decades. I had learned well over 30 years ago with Delavar and Brian Howard and other people who originally trained me. 
that I've been doing for decades. And frankly, in many regards, I cut out the crap and teach it better. <clears throat> what would you say about that? Yeah, I would say that uh, in my experience, that is absolutely true. As I said, I don't think there's any technique or anything that you don't know about hypnotism or hypnosis. Um, so yeah, your knowledge is incredible. And obviously you've done this for so long. And, you know, with all of the stuff that in the boot camp, I mean, that's that's like world-class top level stuff. You know, it's, um, you wouldn't need to know anything more than what's in that boot camp. And yeah, but, in there, but although you, you don't need to know anything else, there will still be people who, for their own peace of mind, to know they can be the best they could possibly be, that they would like some face-to-face -face personal approval, endorsement, validation, experience, an element of all those things together, which is where live training, depending on which way the video goes, <laughs> with the lady at the side of me, Tracy Devet, is the answer to your um needs basically um because she's wired up in a manner where she's totally understood what i teach and my mythologies and she's gone and started using them with her clients getting amazing results so it's not just theory you'll be learning it's actual first hand experience with someone who's seeing clients every day and helping them transform their lives. Whereas honestly, now, me personally, I probably see half a dozen clients a calendar month on average now by personal choice. I, I refer clients to students of mine because I've got, I've got other interests in life now after three decades of doing this stuff. But that is why I say, you know, so in, in some respects, going to Trace, who's seeing sometimes you know more clients than that in a single day um you've got someone who's totally got their finger on the pulse right now as it were to teach you um the things that have been honed and developed over the past 30 years from my point of view but then prior to that with Delavar and some of the stuff that i've developed of his christ del was well, he grew up in a family of um, hypnotists, mesmerists, suggestive therapeutics, as it was called back then. So we're, we're talking well over 100 years of experience before it then even gets used every day by Tracy at the side of me. So, you know, I can't encourage you enough to go to the links above or below, contact Tracy and ask her for more information. Not me, ask her. So I always end these interviews with people by asking pretty much the identical question. And then I just shut up for five minutes or so and let you share words of wisdom with the viewers and listeners that A, will hopefully help them if they're already in uh, at some level of seeing clients, or B, if they're just starting their journey and they're thinking, I'd like to learn more and I wonder what Trace is gonna to answer to this and, if I like, if I resonate with that answer, then I will go to the website above or below the video and I will contact her for more information. What would be your top three tips for success in terms of learning correctly or if you've already done courses for the people who have already done courses to take things to the next level and both become a confident and competent hypnotherapist whilst also building a profitable and sustainable business? What would your top three tips that jump to mind be? Um, I think number one is, is confidence in yourself, because I think that's, that, that's what gets you, um, you know, gets you further in this business. So if you haven't got that confidence in yourself, even if you've studied hypnosis and hypnotherapy, then um, it would be a great idea to get some more uh, of your own or somebody to help you with that, to give you hypnotherapy to increase your confidence. I I'm Tad Tracy. Wonderful for me. <laughs> um, second of all, I would say that um, you have to have the passion and desire to teach people. And once you know the correct techniques and you can have confidence in those techniques, 
um, it just becomes a no brainer. You know, when you see somebody for a, an issue that you can help with, you help with it and there it is, job done. They're happy, you're happy, that's great. The other thing I would also say is um, uh, establishing a business out of it. You, It's much better if you've got help with that. If you've got somebody that can, you can turn to get advice from, it is difficult trying to make it on your own. Um, I know, because I've just done that. <laughs> I've tried to get as much help as I can, but you know, you, you kind of are a lone ranger unless you join with somebody like myself who has, you know, I'm interested in your future success. I'm not just teaching you the course and then leaving you. Um, you know, you get access to help uh, going forward as well. So yeah, those three things I would say, confidence in yourself, uh, get yourself the right techniques that you're using, that you know that they work, and then the work begins of actually developing and um, getting your business to a level where, you know, you can leave those day jobs. And I always say this, in fact, I say this probably ad nauseum to everybody who knows me, I absolutely love my job, and I can't give you a better endorsement than that. Um, it, it just is the best job in the world as far as I'm concerned. If you like helping people, of course. Well, yeah, of course. But yeah, no, excellent. Thank you. Great answers. Uh, personally, I would say number three, well, all of them, all of them incredibly important. But number three, if you want to run a business, support, ongoing advice, coaching, mentoring. Contact Tracy. The details are above or below this video when you do. Uh, obviously, mention this Hypnosis Week video as being or podcast, if you're on the audio version, please do mention that that is how you learned about uh, services, courses, ongoing coaching, and of course, also a therapy services, because maybe all you need is a hypnotherapy session to help you transform your mindset to give you the confidence to do what deep down you could already do, but you just need that block removing which Tracy can help you with thank you so much for your honesty your time and um, yeah I look forward to this going out to the world uh, I believe this will be episode number 95 um, number 94 is being released tomorrow so number 95 will be released next week so please everyone share this far and wide please contact Tracy um, yeah Thank you, Tracy. It's been a pleasure. Ah, oh, thanks very much to you too, Alex. It's been wonderful.